two boys' cousins were inside this home sleeping. It was early morning hours in an August day when the gunshots rang out. It woke the boys actually and then those bullets killing them. And despite this case making national headlines, there's still very little evidence that Kansas City Police has uncovered to put a killer behind bars. So those boys' mothers today, both of them, taking to the streets, making signs and going along with some family and friends working to get the word out into the public that those boys were meaningful to their families and to this community, that a killer is still at large, hoping that a $3,500 reward that those two women have raised will get someone to come forward with any kind of information, any type of evidence that could put the killer behind bars. Both of those moms telling me that it's harder every day to get up and move on, knowing that the killer of their two sons is not facing justice. To know that that's the future is, you know, it's hard. It doesn't matter if it's one, two, or a hundred, we're gonna still ride, we're gonna still stand, and we're gonna still scream out justice. Now those women say they have been in contact with Kansas City Police often, in fact, but over these nine months, very little information coming out, Matt, and they say that's incredibly frustrating.